we are making a huge step today. Come check it out. Alrighty, so today on Pacific Pines Ranch, we are gonna do a big step forward in our progress and it's gonna be a game changer for us, let's just say that. All right, so this is a huge step to sealing in the house. We only have a few more openings to do to seal up the house, and then we can start working on the interior, which is just like poof. If you've been following us for a while, you know that uh, we struggle with the weather when winter comes with rain and everything. So here I am on the third level, okay? So this level, uh, do this side too. See, see, see. So, what we're doing today, I can't even wait. I am so excited. We are installing the door to this opening. Ah. <laughs> so, as you can see, this opening is ginormous. You guys have seen us move this gigantic door a couple times. The, to get it here, we had to crane it from the other side up over the house, which was, it was pretty, uh, that was pretty terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I'm pretty sure we had to do that with both. So, today we're gonna try to install this one, but no matter what, we are going to install this one right here. So yeah, let's grab everything and get to work. It's time to clean the frame. I don't know if uh, you tried before, but Parmesan water is very good. <laughs> <laughs> very effective at cleaning uh, windows and doors. Way too heavy. I mean, uh, wish us uh, luck. I'm just lifting it from. After Viant cleaned the flange of the door, we carried the door to the larger opening. We will be installing the door from the exterior, so we have to use this larger opening to bring the door onto the third level balcony, and then move it where it will be installed. This is easier said than done because the door is pretty heavy. It's an 8x8 sliding glass door and the insulated glass panels are pretty thick. The guys lifted it into the opening and once it was in place, we double checked to make sure everything is level and fitting well.
Then we begin marking where we will drill and tap around the flange of the door. We'll be screwing the door into the frame, but first we need to mark where we will drill the pilot holes. After we had our marks for the pilot holes, we removed the door, put it to the side, and got to work on drilling the pilot holes, which is where we ran into some serious setbacks. All right, so we are working on drilling and tapping all of the holes like as you can see right here, or maybe you can't, I don't know. There we go. So there's a pilot hole, and right here, we tried to tap this hole and unfortunately the tap broke in the hole. So now we have to try to remove the tap from the hole and see if we can do it. If not, we have to take the window or the, the sliding glass door, put it back in the opening and make a new hole. Sucks. Since the drill tap bit broke inside the hole, we had to get it out before we could continue. And this was the start of a long day. Oops, I broke one. Oops, I broke it this time. So we are trying to drill the frame. This is a different frame, but the same setup. And the frame is really thick. The steel and the drills are very tiny. And no matter what we do, they just keep breaking. Both the pilot hole and the drill tap. So it's taking some time longer than it should because we keep breaking drill drill bits in the hole <clears throat> and then we have to remove them and it just is time consuming. Help! We need help. <laughs> so Vyant's trying to get that one out right now. I guess we'll do the next time. Thank you. 
It's pretty frustrating when this happens because the drill bits are really hard to get out and it takes quite a bit of time, which ultimately delays our schedule. We got it, moving along. Oh my god, we managed to finish drilling the steel frame for the sliding glass door. I lost track of how many drill bits we broke. <laughs> we broke quite a bit. The problem is, is that the screws are relatively small. Um, they are right about 1 8 uh, thickness, so we can't really take a drill bit bigger than 1 8 obviously because then the thread won't catch the steel. So that's pretty small and the seal is pretty thick so these little tiny drill bits they just they just can't do it. <laughs> and we have super expensive drill bits too so it's not because we're using cheap ones that it's not working. But anyways we got it done. All of them are drilled and tapped all around as you can see like So Vion's going and drilling the spots where we're going to install it because finally we cannot use the pre-made holes because we need to be a little bit farther over. But this is easy. We shouldn't, we shouldn't, you said, we shouldn't break any drill bits. Yeah, we shouldn't break any drill bits for that. So, Man, it's just times like that that something that should take like an hour or two to do ends up taking all day. All day. So we're just gonna hang in there and keep moving forward and hopefully get this uh, sliding glass door in before the end of the day. <laughs> all right. Do you guys think we have enough sealant? Very important though, we get a lot of rain, so rather sure. have more sealant. We share the bottom with a splash, you know, from the ground. Yeah. Vian is just going around with the sealant all along the frame. Let me show you what that looks like. So scary out here. The door is here.
Once the sealant master finished his work, it was time. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Be prepared for any situation with the All Powers S2000 Solar Generator Kit. This power station and solar panel duo is the perfect accessory for camping, emergency backup power, and off-grid electricity. The S2000 power station offers 1500 watt hours and a 2400 watt AC inverter. With the high output power, it can even handle demanding appliances such as electric kettles. It can be recharged from 0 to 100% in 1.5 hours, and the battery withstands 2,500 plus life cycles to 80%. The 400 watt solar panels have a high conversion rate, and they come with a built-in stand, making it really quick and easy to set up. With 12 output ports, including a 30 amp RV output port, this power station can power a wide variety of items. It's great for camping, and it can easily power multiple items at once. The All Powers S2000 can also be used for construction projects. We've got a lot of use out of this power station on the ranch, and with the long battery life, we were able to run our tools for multiple days. The All Powers S2000 Solar Generator Kit is a great way to get unlimited electricity, and since it's compact, it's easy to move around and set up anywhere. This is a great option for an RV to use as backup power at home or to take camping. Be sure to click the link in the description and use our exclusive discount code for 15% off your purchase. Special thank you to All Powers for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to it. This is probably the most stressful part because the sealant is drying as we speak. So, time is of the essence. We checked to make sure everything was aligned and in place before we started to screw the door into the frame. I have two of the long ones, you have the short one. No, it's, it's good, uh, the one that I have. Um, maybe for the corner, you will give me one like that for the corner. Okay. This is so incredibly stressful. Mega stress, stress level 10,000. I hate doing sealant. I hate that it just dries as you're doing it. And uh, yeah, it's just really stressful. Wish us luck. <laughs> Eventually, we got the door installed, and it works really well. But it definitely needs a good cleaning. This is eventually going to be the sliding glass door in the master bedroom, and the view is so incredible. It's in! Oh my god, we did it! 
and it's about no, it's dead on liver. Scream jet. Look at this. Wow, it's dirty. Okay, we know we need to clean it. It's dusty. It's dirty, but it's in there. So we managed to get it in. That was a struggle. Oh my gosh. We had so many drill bits break, we, but thankfully we had no screws break, which is good because that would have been close to catastrophic. <laughs> oh, man, we are just out here doing the best we can. Sometimes things don't go to plan and we just have to work through it and uh, try not to get too frustrated or down when things don't go well. And Bayan, he needs to work on his stress because he's maybe <laughs> Stressed as stressed AF. Namaste, brother. Namaste. Yeah. All right. So let me show you what it looks like from the outside. So if you guys didn't know this already, this is eventually going to be a balcony, and it's going to be the same setup as the roof, kind of the galvanized tubing with the plywood, blah blah blah. Wow. Here's the view from the outside. There it is. It's in. Now we just need to, we pretty much only cleaned where we have to put the suction cups. Overall, it was a good day, stressful day, but a good day because we are one step closer to being able to work on the inside and not have to hawk the weather every two minutes to, to find non-rainy days when it becomes uh, the rainy season. So this is awesome. Accomplished the task of the day. Good teamwork today. So, did you guys ever wonder what is gonna go in this huge opening? Let me show you. Okay, so today we are gonna be installing this gigantic door. It is huge and it's gonna be super challenging. So, fingers crossed, everything goes well. So this door right here, it's four panels. The two sliding doors in the middle open like that. There's one, there's one and it's going in that opening right there. We are going to be doing the same steps as we did for the other sliding glass door, except this door is much, much bigger. So it's gonna be a little more challenging. Because this door is so much larger, it makes it a lot more difficult to move around and manipulate. And it's going to take all three of us to get it into the opening. Once it was in the opening, we went around and double checked that everything was level and fitting well before we started to mark where we will drill the pilot holes. This sliding glass door is 12 feet long and about seven feet high. So it's a big door. 
It lets in a lot of light and the view is incredible. This will eventually be the main entrance to the third level balcony. All right, so I'm not gonna be able to film because I have to hold the door while Viant is going around and drilling. So to explain what we're doing, Viant is out there. He is drilling the pilot holes for the drill tap all around the frame. And then we're gonna go back with the tap drill, the drill tap bit that we have, this guy. drill and tap each hole and that's how we're going to attach the door to the house and screw it in. So, it's pretty much what we're doing. Once we had the pilot holes marked, it was time to remove the door and drill and tap the holes and hope that none of the drill bits break. What the heck is that? Also something really strange, I think I broke some blood vessels in my finger or something. I don't know. It's all bruised and kind of purpley. It's really, really strange.
bunged up. So strong. Few more, few more. Okay, so tell everybody your experience. Ver uh, compare the two uh, drill bits. Oh, I don't know which brand is this one, but this one is really strong. It's uh, the Walt Arbor Fret. They are the same color, so we don't know. <laughs> but this one, this one is holding very, very well. You did how many holes with that one? Probably like 20, close 25. Yeah. And look how thin is it. And this is a quarter inch switch oil steel, so. And break. Yeah, so and last time, just for reference, when we did that window or sliding glass door over there, how many? <laughs> we broke, I think, like five drill bits. Yeah. So. It was at this point, I knew I jinxed it. Okay, so the moment has arrived. We are pretty much ready to install the gigantic sliding glass door. So the plan is, I'm not gonna be able to film because I will be holding the door. In a minute, I'll explain why. So Vion is, we're gonna bring the door over here. Vion's gonna do the sealant super quick around the frame, on the bottom, and around all the holes that we drilled and tapped. And then we are gonna lift the door, put it in the frame, and screw everything together. Very important that we're really efficient during this step because we have the sealant starts to cure as soon as it comes out. So, yeah, <laughs> pretty stressful. All right, wish us luck. So same thing as before, Viant went around and applied the sealant all around the frame before we put the door into the opening.
Once the door was in the opening, we double checked the placement and made sure everything was good and level before installing the screws. Now that the door is all set up, we are working on screwing it into the frame. Oh, we forgot the suction cups. Well, I got it. Okay. I got it. And just like that, we have our third level sliding glass doors installed. How crazy is this one, huh? So freaking big. So those of you that have been following along since the beginning, you will know that we source these from our favorite door and window kind of like overstock misorder place. I can't remember ex the exact price that we paid for them, but I think it was like, I want to guess like 250 or 300 bucks for the big door, which I'm sure if I look it up now, it'll be like 6,000 plus for the door. Anyways. Just super uh, happy that everything is going well. Here we are on the south balcony. Do you mind if I can have some napkins, please? Okay. Okay, we had a sealant emergency, so I needed to hurry up and help Viant finish. Back to what I was saying. The sliding glass door is in. It looks absolutely incredible. Well. No, it's very dirty right now. I'm aware, but generally speaking, it looks great. And everything went well, and we only broke, I think, one, two drill bits, which is great because on that sliding glass door over there, I think we broke close to like six or seven. <laughs> Weird. Anyways, here it is. It's going to be so great to have this on our third level and this will be the entrance to this balcony right here amazing that could have been catastrophic but it wasn't <laughs> all right everything's good and uh yeah probably just gonna call it a day because that was not the most physical thing that we've done but the stress uh really wears you out hi welcome to my house <laughs> So yeah, another success, another step forward. One of these days, can't wait to just be chilling with Viant up here and admiring the view.
These sliding glass doors make a huge difference on the appearance of the house. And they also eliminate a lot of water and wind from the third level. This was a really big step for us and we are about three openings away from having the entire house completely sealed up. It's really exciting to think about working on the interior of the house and I cannot wait to share the progress with you all. The third level balcony is one of our favorite spots of the house because it gets a lot of sun and it's surprisingly not very windy. The view is absolutely incredible and there's actually a lot of wildlife we can see in the trees like eagles, owls, and other birds. And it's just a great spot to just come up here and chill. We've come a really long way and the house is slowly starting to take shape with each step we complete. We'll be making some very big progress this summer, so be sure to subscribe to keep up with the progress of our self-built shipping container home. Help support our channel by leaving a comment liking and sharing this video. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and sometimes even during the week. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.